Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is the phosphorus and it has three allotropes, white, red, black. White, red, black. White, red and black. So let's study the white allotropes of phosphorus. This is how it looks. This is translucent white vaccine. This is translucent. This is white. This is also like wax. It is waxy. And this is solid. It is poisonous. This is poisonous. Please note it is poisonous. It is water insoluble. It glows in dark. This white phosphorus, it glows in dark. And uh, it dissolves in boiling sodium hydroxide solution. So I have a P4, I have a sodium hydroxide solution, I'll add some water, and it is in some high temperature. You get my phosphine and NaH, NaH2PO2, it is sodium hypophosphite. So this is a boiling sodium hydroxide solution, it dissolves. It is less stable actually, it is more reactive, it is less stable. It is poisonous also, it is less stable, it is more reactive. It is more reactive uh, than other forms of sulfur, it is black and red, it is more reactive. Why it is more reactive? Because of the angular strain in P4, if you see, uh, the angle is only 60 degree here. So because of the strain, because the angular strain, because the angular strain, this white phosphorus is more reactive, it is unstable. It is so unstable, it is so reactive that it catches fire. It readily catches fire in air. So you put this in air, it will catch fire. And it will give a dense white fume. So this is P4, it reacts with oxygen, it happens immediately. You get P4O10, there's a dense white fume. It has a garlic like order. It has a garlic like order. Also, this density is uh, pretty high. It is 80. Melting point is uh, 44 degrees Celsius, but boiling point is very high. That is 280 degrees Celsius. Any guess why the melting point is low but the boiling point is very high? See, these phosphorus P4 are individual molecules and they are held together by a weak water of one force. So here you will have one more P4. They will have a more P4 here. Right? Since they are held by a weak water of one force, for melting point, the only thing you need is you need to break these bonds. So the melting point is pretty less. But for boiling point, you need to break everything, all the remaining bonds. So the boiling point is pretty high. Okay. To prepare this white phosphorus, what we do is we get this uh, phosphate rock. We have something called phosphate rock. That is Ca3PO42. You hit this phosphate rock with sand. SiO2 is my sand and coke also adds in pop coke you heat this what you'll get is in the electric furnace actually electric furnace and what you get the output is p4 okay so again write the equation for this actually so i have ca3 po42 it reacts with s IO2 to give CSIO3 plus P2O5. Balanced reaction will be 6 sand and this is 6 and 2 P2O5. Now this, the P2O5 which you have got, when you react with my coke, 10 coke, you get some 10 carbon monoxide and you get SP4. This is what we were looking for. This is the typical reaction for the preparation of white phosphorus. 
The next is the red phosphorus. This is the red phosphorus. This is how it looks. This is odorless. There is no smell, and it is not poisonous. Also, it is odorless. It is non-poisonous. It is insoluble in water. And it is insoluble in carbon disulfide also. It is much less reactive. Much less reactive. As compared to my white phosphorus, it is much less reactive. And it doesn't does not glow. They don't glow in dark. They don't glow in dark. If you want to see the preparation, it is prepared by heating white phosphorus in a closed vessel. Closed vessel. So you have white phosphorus. You heat this in a closed vessel in the absence of air, without any air, and uh, for days you keep it for the days, some days at almost the uh, temperature of almost 540 to 570 Kelvin for a few days. Then you get the red phosphorus. Okay, and uh, yeah, so the density of this uh, phosphorus is uh, little less, 2.8 gram per centimeter cube. The white phosphorus has a density of 18 gram per centimeter cube. And uh, it sublimes at 300 degrees Celsius. It does not catch fire easily. No fire easily. It is non poisonous also, it does not catch fire easily. It is less reactive actually. And if you see the structure of this, it is something like this. So, here if you see, there is a bond between two phosphorus, it is a covalent bond actually. So, in the white phosphorus, there was a wonder wall force of attraction, right? So, here we have a covalent bond. Okay. There is a covalent bond, there is a covalent bond, there is no water wall force here, there is a covalent bond. So it is a little more stable. So that is all we have for red phosphorus. For the black phosphorus, it is again uh, prepared by heating white or red phosphorus. So you take white or you take red phosphorus and you again heat this at a higher temperature of 470 Kelvin and high pressure. The very high pressure, so you get this black phosphorus. This is black phosphorus. It has two forms actually: alpha and beta. Alpha black and beta black. There are two forms of black phosphorus. So alpha black is formed. We talk about the alpha black. Alpha black. This is formed when you have this red phosphorus, and this you heat this. In a sealed tube at almost 803 Kelvin, and that's what you get my alpha black. In this alpha black, it does not oxidize in air. If you want to form the beta black phosphorus, what you do, you take white phosphorus as input and you heat at almost 473 Kelvin under high pressure, in this case you need high pressure also. Then you get beta black. And it does not burn in air. These are my two white and black phosphorus. We talk about the uses of phosphorus. It is used to manufacture matchsticks. It is used to make rat poisons. It is used to make medicines. It is used to manufacture bombs. It is used to make alloys. And also it is used to make fertilizers. So these are some of the important application of phosphorus. Matches take this is for the rat poison, medicines, bombs, alloys, and fertilizers. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.